Hello and welcome to Healthy Kitchen 101. Uh, I'm Matthew and today, as promised, we're taking a deeper look at the NASCO VS12 vacuum sealer. This particular model has been extensively featured in many top selling charts, as well as uh, having been very positively reviewed by customers as well as professional reviewers alike. So uh, in this uh, deep dive, we're taking a look at its design as well as we're going to do some light testing of its vacuum sealing performance and we're going to take a look at uh, the using experience as well. So let's dive into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about this vacuum sealer is, this, is the design. So as you may have noticed, it has a very robust and a very well built construction. The top lid has a metal plating at the top and here you can see the control panel with uh, indicator lights and an LED window here and on the inside you have a pull down cutter integrated right into the interior as well as a large compartment for you to hold your plastic bag roll. It is very very convenient to use and here you can see that there are there is a pair of back hooks which is going to help you align your plastic bag more accurately to the vacuum channel here and i also really like the the locking mechanism of the lid which can be operated by lifting and lowering this handle right here if you press it down the lid is going to click into place and then the, um, the LED window here is going to light up. And when we get to the performance, I'm going to show how it's going to uh, help you keep track of the, uh, of the sealer's working progress. And down at the bottom, you have four anti-slip feet. And here is also a cord grommet for you to better manage the, uh, the power cord when you have to uh, put it into storage eventually. So taking all of that into account, our uh, reviewers have decided to give the Nesco VS12 a total design score of 9.9 .9 out of 10. The only reason why it didn't receive a 10 out of 10 score is because it lacks a, uh, a removable drip tray in the vacuum channel that uh, would have helped with um, vacuuming uh, moist food. But other than that, the design is really, really, really great for the price. So now let's get to the performance test. So in order for us to, uh, to test just how well this vacuum sealer is able to, uh, to vacuum pack a variety of different foodstuffs, we're going to have two different tests. The first test is, uh, concerns dry foods such as black rice grains. We have here 2.2 pounds of black rice grains. For the second test, we're going to test how well it handles moist, fresh, foodstuffs such as 12.4 uh, ounces of fresh mango slices we have here. So uh, to score uh, its performance, we're going to use a digital vacuum gauge that is connected to one of these plastic bags that we're going to fill, uh, individually fill with rice grains and fruit slices here. As it works, the vacuum gauge is going to measure how strong the motors within the vacuum sealer is. And additionally, we're going to record the cycle time of the, of the vacuum sealer. So each cycle consists of the vacuuming portion as well as the sealing portion. And even though we're not going to score um, this, but we're still going to use a digital noise level meter to uh, measure how loud the motor can get during while it's working. So let's begin with the first test. Now, I'm gonna open the bag here and I'm gonna fill it with the rice grains. Okay, that's my bad. Make sure the air adapter is open and Align the mouth of the bag with the back hooks here. And we should be good to go.
So uh, we've conducted this test twice, and every single time the uh, the Nesco VS12 um, has surpassed all of our expectations. It is currently one of the best performing uh, vacuum sealers we have in our in our database, and we've tested around a dozen different models now. So, uh, in terms of suction, suction strength, the Nesco VS12 is able to achieve anywhere between 78 to 80 kPa, and uh, the cycle time uh, ranges anywhere from 29 to 27 seconds, which is relatively fast uh, for dry food packing. And considering the high suction strength that it has, um, even though there are models out there that uh, can achieve can finish a, a cycle time in as little as 10 seconds. We're still very happy with the performance of the Nesco VS12 in this test. With all of that in mind, we've decided to give the, uh, the Nesco VS12 a, a score of 8.8 .8 out of 10 for the dry food test section. So for the second test, we're going to use the uh, mango slices here, as we have explained earlier. 12.4 ounces. Because the uh, mango slices are very soft, so as juicy, we're going to use the gentle pressure mode. And the moist mode on the control panel. So similar to the previous uh, dry food test, we've conducted two different test sessions with the Nesco VS12 and uh, we found some interesting results. The first is that when we set the control panel to gentle pressure, the pressure does get a little bit less strong. Across two tests, we recorded a result between 52 to 70 kPa. And as you can see here, the bag gets tight enough that it fits all around the fruit slices, but it does not squeeze the, the, the slices until there is, uh, it leaks juice. Uh, between the two test sessions we've conducted, we have recorded a cycle time between 38 to 36 seconds. So to recap the, the moist food test, uh, our reviewers have given the Nesco VS12 a score of 8 0.0 out of 10 for this test portion. So performance-wise, uh, the Nesco VS12, like we said, is one of the most powerful vacuum sealers that we have in our database. Across both the moist food test as well as the dry food test, the sealer achieved scores that never went below 8.0 out of 10. So for the total score of the performance section, our reviewers have given this sealer a total performance score of 8.5 out of 10, which is excellent. And the Nesco VS12 currently leads best performing um, vacuum sealer chart as of now. So what of usability? The Nesco VS12 has excellent usability and this is the highlight of this particular model. So let's start from the top, which we have the control panel here. The control panel has several very clearly labeled buttons as well as indicator lights that go with each button that allow you to know exactly what mode the sealer is set to. And here you can see the, uh, the LED window with reset progress. So this is um, a particular highlight for the Nesco VS12 since this window is going to tell you exactly when uh, the sealer has finished a working cycle. And on the interior, of course, you have to mention the drop-down cutter here, as well as the integrated back holder. They account for a good portion of the sealer's size, but it makes up in return for the great convenience that you have. When storing the vacuum sealer, 
since you can store the uh, the roll of plastic bag right within the sealer instead of uh, you know storing it somewhere else on the shelves maybe and of course with the integrated cutter you don't have to bother with using a knife or a scissor to uh, to cut the plastic bag roll to any size if you want next i also want to talk about the back hooks here the back hook makes it really really easy to align the, the mouth of the plastic bag with the vacuum channel many cheaper models don't have this uh, feature so especially when you uh, you try to use the sealer one-handed the mouth of the plastic bag has a small chance of slipping out of the channel and come out of alignment and uh, the seal isn't quite as effective but even though the uh, the usability of this uh, model is excellent I have to draw your attention to the front uh, of the sealer here, which is quite tall. If you have a uh, if you have a plastic bag, a, a large one like this, um, and you have something like a marinade at the bottom, the height of the sealer can be a, a bit of an issue because it can slip and slide here when you try to align the bag with the vacuum channel. And it's going to be a particular problem if you have a bag that is a little bit too short. And as I close the lid, here is another uh, bright feature of the Nasco VS12, which is the lid lock. The lid lock, like I said earlier in the design portion, can be operated by lifting up and lowering the handle. So um, I've come to realize that unlike cheaper models which has a press lock which means you have to press down on the lid this one you can just use one hand and press it down to lock it very convenient and you can use it one-handed with no problem so for all of these reasons uh, our reviewers have decided to give the Nesco VS12 a very good score in terms of, use of usability which is 9.6 out of 10 So what, what have we learned after conducting all of these three tests? The Nesco VS12 is an excellent vacuum sealer for the money. It has great suction on both the dry food test and the moist food test. It has excellent design and build quality. And of course, in terms of usability, it is simply unbeatable with its uh, clearly labeled control panel a handle that is easy to use one-handed, and all of the extra features that it come with. So for all of these reasons, we have uh, our methodology has given the Nasco VS12 a total score of 9.1 out of 10. It is simply one of the best, if not the best, vacuum sealer that we have tested after um, reviewing over a dozen different vacuum sealers, as you can see in the back shelves here. The Nesco VS12 is a solid choice for anyone who seeks to extend the, the shelf life of their food. It's a little bit expensive, but as you can see throughout this video, it is very well worth the money. And uh, if you want to see more videos from us, either it's vacuum sealers or blenders or uh, apple slicers, uh, do leave Healthy Kitchen 101 a like and subscribe. I'm Matthew from Healthy Kitchen 101. See you next time.